all the participants. I welcome you all the participants in this DS events calendar seminar 27th seminar. Uh, today, the very important topic which relates to precision agriculture, the topic is about variable rate spraying system for site specific agrochemical application. The speaker is Dr. Tahir Iqbal. He is working uh, since more than 10 years in this university. He and took his PhD from China and currently working in the Faculty of Agri-Engineering and also he is serving at the PI in our Persian, Digital Persian Agriculture Project. Thank you, Dr. Tahir Iqbal, uh, for sparing your time on this short notice as I know your health is also was not uh, comfortable, uh, but we want to continue our this seminar series uh, uninterruptedly. Uh, now I will share, uh, I'll, uh, share the request. I will request the Tariq Bal to continue his talk. And uh, uh, I will request the admin, please allow the sharing of screen to the speaker. Uh, today, the talk will be about 30 to 40 minutes. Then we have questions session. If any person have a question, also can write in the chat room. This uh, talk will be recorded and also uploaded on our DS YouTube channel. Now the mic will be uh, with the Dr. Tahir Iqbal. Please continue. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Azam Khan, uh, Director of Student, uh, uh, Director of Advanced Studies. Uh, thank you very much for sparing and giving me the opportunity to discuss on the variable rate spring systems for site-specific agrochemical applications. Uh, audience, could you uh, uh, inform me that uh, is either my share, screen is sharing or not with you guys? Sir, screen share or yeah. proceed. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so uh, let me start from the Prussian agriculture. Uh, most of uh, of us are related to the agriculture and agriculture engineering with some of audience are from the IT department. So the, the reduce of the reduce the amount of inputs required to grow the crops and increase the harvestable crop yield. Uh, it means that the lowering the cost, uh, lower the environmental impact uh, and uh, automate and log the farm operations uh, with data analysis, efficiency and conveyance and also minimize the labor engagement at the farm operations. For example, uh, using the autopilots, uh, GPS guided machines, and also uh, connected Wi-Fi connected devices, which can reduce your labor, uh, which can optimize the agrochemical application, which can be uh, uh, optimize the other agricultural inputs. So these are, this basically is an integrated approach in which we start from the data, data connection. After data collection, we have analysis and after analysis, we have some management decisions and then apply that management decisions in a uh, form. So uh, and that is the integrated approach with the circle from data collection to applications. We have uh, uh, GPS, DIS based uh, information. So we have a field history. We, we need a field surveys, uh, soil mapping, and then we need uh, fertilizer data, then seed costing, resources availability. On that available data, we, 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 we produce the prescription maps and that data transfer by, uh, by, the, by machine VNs and real-time sensor to get uh, the tillage properly, to get proper seeding, to proper uh, agrochemical application. Then uh, we have a uh, crop status sensing and then uh, we have uh, uh, the yield mapping. So uh, all these uh, applications uh, from data collection to the uh, data collection to management CN, these all are the components of Persian agriculture. So why we need Persian agriculture in Pakistan? That's very important that the agriculture area, 26% of the total area is 
uh, contributed to the agriculture, which have uh, contribution to the GDP, including the livestock, is 21%. Uh, directly or indirectly, uh, our uh, employment opportunities are 45%. So uh, population is growing, global warming is growing, water scarcity is growing, loss of fertilizer, nutrients in the, in the soil availability, environmental degradation, and food prices. These are the challenges. Uh, and uh, the next is about... Uh, uh, the rural population is reducing. Uh, availability of the farm machineries uh, have a have a issue. Land and soil quality, seed germination, then profitability, and land and water productivity. If we uh, see that uh, uh, from 1950 to 2020, 50, that the water availability uh, per capita is reducing day by day. So here is an, uh, another graph to reduce the amount of inputs required to grow crops and increase the. Hazard. If we see the graph that uh, the inputs, uh, we are increasing the inputs we are getting the maximum yield. But after the maximum yield, uh, we are supplying the more nutrient but reducing the yield. So in our case, in today's topic talk is about that the environmental impact and also the increased efficiency of agrochemical applications. So the increased efficiency of agrochemical application, we use uh, the uh, spraying system, uh, precision spraying system. Uh, if we talk about that, that the variable rate technology, which, we, which is our today talk, its adoptability globally is about around 60 to 70%. So the variable rate spraying system, which is our today talk, is about the basically an artificial intelligence based site specific, crop specific management technology, which allows the product to apply at changing rates. Uh, where we need, we will uh, apply the chemicals. Otherwise, the rest of crop is unattended. So the variable rate spring allows the growers to apply adjusted volume rate spring pesticides. Uh, using the variable rate spring system, we can save the 40 to 50% of chemical as compared to the conventional system. That system have uh, uh, specifically, uh, we, we use some, uh, some solenoid walls to control uh, the systems. We need pumps, we need tanks, and we need basically start from the data acquisition to the uh, that the CN sport. So all these are uh, includes, for example, this one is the pictures uh, of the blueberry, uh, which I take from our worthy vice chancellor presentation that uh, the, this, that has the uh, 90, 93,000 hectares of the area, which have some barren land uh, and some have that the grasses and weeds and some have the crops. So we, we need site specific application to reduce the chemical use uh, because uh, during, uh, if we just use the uniform spring, that we are just wasting our chemical. So increase the horticulture profitability, reduce the uh, production cost, and also the uh, decrease the environmental pollution. So uh, let me talk about the variable rate spring system. We have a two types of variable rate spring system. One is uh, machine VN based and other is the sensor based. In a machine VN based uh, is an, basically is an efficient method to provide the recognition of the vegetation uh, position, size, shape, color, texture. So we can identify the, uh, the size, uh, uh, we can identify the shape, we can identify the color, uh, we can differentiate the weeds and, uh, and, and the crop leaves by the texture. So machine VN is a basically computer ability to see the artificial VN system using one or more video cameras to acquire the images. In this system that we use uh, uh, cameras for the image acquisition, after image acquisition, we process that images that process, uh, after process, that will really have this different segments. That segments have the feature expression, either it's a crop, either it's a weeds. So after that recognition, we have an interpretation either with the CN for the spraying or not spraying. So uh, the, uh, the second uh, most commonly used uh, variable rate spraying system, the sensor-based, basically it's a real-time object detection-based. We use three type of uh, sensors. One is ultrasonic sensor, uh, other is the light detection and ranging, and the third one is the, the bigger one is the radar system. So depending upon the field, depending upon the resources available, we use uh, different sensors for sensing that uh, uh, system. So uh, if we talk about that uh, first one, the variable rates of a sensor-based uh, system. Sensor-based system, uh, we have uh, three types of steps we do in, in, a, in a sensing 
sensing based system so first of all we need to, to get the data of the physical parameters of the plant like what should be uh, what is the plant height what is the plant canopy and, uh, and other that uh, that the distance between two plants and then uh, other physical parameters after that uh, we apply uh, we, we apply that variable rate system deploy on an on a computer or microcontroller equipped with the solenoid walls sprayers uh, having the flow walls pressure gauges and uh, shut off walls and then that uh, testing of that uh, testing of that uh, variable rate spring system in an orchard to get that the evaluation and accuracy of the system uh, for example in this picture you can see that uh, uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, sp uh, spring system having the spray tanks and then some different sensors which are using to get the data and uh, that data can be processed in a, in a microcontroller and then microcontroller gives the signals uh, either either it, the nozzle is on and off so for that uh, orchard variable spring system we need uh, some ultrasonic sensors arduino board uh, speedometer that some needs some solenoid valve which is used to on and off so, uh, batteries for pumps batteries for solenoid valves pressure gauge to maintain the pressure and monitor the pressure bypass valve nozzles filters pumps these are that the mechanically uh, equipment which is uh, which, which 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 we need to to design that uh, variable rate sprayer so in a variable rate sprayer uh, we have a, we we deploy some sensors sen some sensors on on a boom for example if you see that video you can see that uh, that has a, a indigenous uh, prototype of the orchard sprayer which we are using in, in, in our arid agriculture university that having uh, if the plant is uh, detect then it spray otherwise it's not spray and they have uh, three uh, three nozzles on uh, on a one sided which is uh, doing spray on the, uh, depending upon the canopy of and size of the sprayer so in this picture you can clarify that that we have the spray tank and microcontrollers in that in the, in the box and having the boom uh, we have a different sensor so if the if the if the plant height is uh, is, uh, is is four to six feet then one one sensor open and then if one nozzle is open if the, the height is from six to 18 then maybe the three nozzles open so depending upon the, the size there is another uh, video for another prototype you can see that uh, uh, in this video clearly that uh, we have some spray guns and that's ultrasonic sensors so if uh, let me start this machine so it sprays because it, it sees the object or uh, maybe plant and then it's off because there's no plant uh, in this uh, uh, range so that can save that can save the around uh, 40 to uh, 45 percent of the agrochemicals uh, as compared to the uniform strain So uh, there is another example of the real-time uh, orchard spring system, which we which we deploy. We deploy this system on the tractor motor sprayer because uh, most of the farmers, uh, because that one is the prototype and this one is the actual machine, which we use in, the, in this video. It's a uniform spring in which uh, uh, just the tractor, tractor operator started the PTO and the and your boom is, is on. There's a lot of wastage of the of the chemical just see but here we deploy the variable rate spring system uh, with uh, object monitoring and real time uh, detection based so you can see that uh, spring on both sides because uh, we have the both sides we have the plants and after that you can see after that plant you can see that uh, the left side is open and where the right side is is off because there is no uh, plant uh, in this range. So it can save the uh, your agrochemicals. So uh, this one is the is is a, is a saving of the variable rates sprayer system over the conventional sprayers. So we uh, we get the, some the plant canopies 
uh, with having different range that uh, some plants from 400 to the 350, uh, 435 uh, centimeter, and uh, then the uh, plants were having 260 to 280 centimeters. So we see that uh, around uh, uh, 30 percent, uh, 25 percent saving uh, in a uh, in a in a dense farm in, in a dense plant size with 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 having the in the low height and then then the uh, as per the volume is increasing that the saving is increasing. So the uh, slide uh, if we uh, talk about the salient features of that uh, orchard uh, monitoring system that uh, it can automatically detect the tree canopy height and width variability. Uh, and also we can adjust the spray height, width and nozzles of the flow rates, and we can also ensure and change the angle of the angle of the angle of the spring. Uh, it have the forward speed of four to five kilometers per hour with the average capacity, field capacity is one hectare per hour. It can save uh, up to 40% depending upon the canopy of the canopy volume and also the plant height. So uh, the other variable rate spring system is a UAV uh, unmanned vehicle, uh, unmanned vehicle like you can say that simply the drone system. Uh, and this system that is also the sensor based system which is indigenized and developed to spray the agrochemicals for insect pest control in a crops and orchard. It have the spring height of the two to four meters. Speed is around the two to five meter per second. That can coverage uh, three point five to seven acres per per hour. Uh, it can ensure the overlapping, the gaps of the spring patterns around 60% increase in the efficiency due to the high coverage of the unmanned aerial vehicles variable rate spring system. So if we, uh, for example, in an agrochemical application, if we just do by the manual knapsack sprayers, it around uh, uh, 20 to, uh, it around uh, 2,000 to 4,000 hectare per, uh, it's cost for 2,000 to 4,000. Uh, if we uh, do that uniform spraying by tractor motor, it's around 2,500 RS uh, per hectare. But if we use the uh, if we use the aerial uh, drone spraying, uh, it costs us uh, around uh, 600 uh, to 700 per per acre. So it around uh, 1,300 per hectare. So it can be uh, useful for 20 to 30 percent of the saving of the agrochemicals. But uh, here we need some improvement like the vegetative directions, the penetratability of and the crop canopy, droplet coverage, and heterogeneous droplet distribution. These are the these are the further and future challenges uh, in an uh, unmanned uh, vehic uh, aerial vehicles application of agrochemicals. So uh, by UM monitoring uh, variable rate sprayers, we can uh, we can have a. Uh, so we can we, from the UAV we can also monitor the the soil type, topography, vegetation condition, and UAV based crop system, which can be a directly uh, auto track variable rates uh, applications by uh, spraying. So uh, that uh, that that machine vans and uh, 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 real time cameras can also use for the ultra monitoring. And can detect the detect the disease from the from the crop. So uh, here is because uh, here is a second type of uh, variable rate spring system which is which is used uh, which is using the artificial intelligence and deep learning. In this system, uh, we use machine vision based cameras. For that, we need uh, first of all we need a data acquisition. We need a image library, and after that, we need to train that uh, system. Uh, for detection of the plants and weeds. Uh, if we if, if just focus on this picture, you can see that uh, uh, that uh, we have a camera. Uh, that camera is, uh, is 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 using for the real time uh, images, and uh, that uh, camera give the uh, uh, give the images to the to the CPU or GPU, and that GPU is having the image library. That image library is used to detect either it's a plant or either is a weed. So we have some decision support system to just to uh, spray on the weeds. Yes, see, you can see it is just uh, spraying on the weed, but the potato plant is, 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 is okay. So in this uh, uh, second uh, variable rate spring system, which is used uh, by the AI and machine VN, 
in which we have the, the, the we propose and develop the variable rate spring having first of all we need uh, the image after image and the image that we need image uh, image image library for image library we need we use some cameras uh, to get the images after in getting the image we need the scaling after scaling we need uh, we need uh, to to map the the texture and map that uh, the leaf area and after that we uh, we put it to the into the processing uh, processing unit you can say simply say that in a computer and after that computer, that computer is connected with the microcontrollers and solenoid walls, which is, uh, which, uh, uh, which apply the microprocessors uh, and uh, the decision of the computer to the uh, nozzles. So in this system that uh, first we start the image acquisition, after image acquisition, we have the image detection unit. After image detection unit is one, uh, we have another decision box system in which we use Juventol, and some algorithm of the AIBA softwares, which we used for the decision support either to spray or not. And then that, uh, that decision box is connected with the relays and solenoid walls, uh, which is used for the on and off of the spraying nozzles. So mostly we use the, the uh, YOLO3 algorithm for the immediate processing and getting the target uh, recognition of the variable rate spraying operation system. So for that, uh, we have some design parameter that uh, that the row crops is using for the plant up to the 18 inches adjustable head. Uh, then we have a machine view and detection system and uh, volume of the spray is around eight, uh, eight liter per meter. And uh, we have a number three number of nozzles right now, uh, which can be extended uh, up to the 11 nozzles. Uh, we have a 10 liter tank and different five to 10 kilometer speed. We will mostly use on a four kilometer per hour speed. And uh, we have a, uh, playback simulation for playback simulation and logging we we, we have a high speed wi-fi and also the pc so for the data acquisition you can you can see in that a picture that uh, we have uh, we use uh, yolo3 and also the different uh, mobile net two uh, softwares for the algorithm and image pre-processing after image pre-processing uh, we have uh, we have uh, some uh, we, we we design the codes in which we uh, we need some probability if for example this this image have the 0.83 percent probability after that probability uh, we, we we need to we need to uh, to direct that our our machine that either is probability is more than 70 percent you need to spray or not so these have some data acquisition process so the, here is the training and validity of the accuracy of our systems which is around 99% uh, on a lab testing, which have the, uh, the training accuracy started from, because uh, as per the, uh, the data is, is more and uh, feeding is, uh, how much the image library is your strong, your, your system is more and more accurate. So uh, here is another uh, other video of the machine waste, uh, uh, in which you can see that uh, uh, this 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 system is is designed in our engineering workshop. So uh, these are the considered to be a strain by the by the by the variable spray, and this this plant could be a uh, not sprayed by the uh, by the machine. So it works very perfectly in 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 the lab. So uh, that uh, variable rate spring uh, system is adjusted by the control uh, unit in the real time according to the uh, geometrical structure of the plants. So it can reduce uh, the pesticide losses. It will have the real time object detection. It can be a cost saving and high compatibility and also the reduce the environmental impacts. So uh, you can see. That is the plant, so he, he left the plant and uh, spray on the weeds. So uh, it's just a beginning uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the hardest work, but uh, we don't need to be a give up. And uh, it's, uh, we are shifting that uh, from the lab to the, to the real time so this is about that the variable rate spring systems and uh, thank you for your attention so we have uh, around uh, uh, 10 minutes for
for for discussion because we have I have uh, another data for uh, the repository data which uh, which uh, if somebody if some of the participants want that how image data how the image acquisition is is processed how these uh, algorithm software is used we we will discuss after uh, on the demand so over to the participants if somebody have a question on variable rate spraying systems. Yes, please. If somebody have a question, please raise hand. Or write in the chat room. Uh, we can allow him. Because there are some slides of the data uh, image acquisition and image how the images are converted uh, from uh, from software and then how the data acquisition that how did machines have the uh, have the uh, accuracy and how to train the machines. We have an, a repository data that is might be discussed with, with if somebody is more interested in in this because it's a general about the variable rate spring system that how it is working. And that's the, that the variable rate spring system. These are these are the uh, is the future machines of the agriculture. So we we need to to work on these, and uh, we need to uh, more more and more testing and deploy these machines in an agriculture to get the maximum efficiency efficiency of the machines. So if somebody have question, so we will discuss on that. That uh, these systems are portable. We can we can shift that these these systems to the any machine, or uh, maybe for example, if we if somebody asks that. These machines we need. We are not in capability to buy the the the, the variable rate uh, the the vehicles. We can we can put these machines uh, these systems or install these system in a previous or conventional sprayers. So we can convert that conventional sprayer to the variable rate spraying. That's a that's not a tough job for for the, for for the, our our team. So if somebody have any question, and from engineering students, if somebody have any question, please raise the hand. Yes, Umar, please. Uh, yes, sir, sir, I have a, a little question. First of all, very uh, thankful to you for your brilliant presentation. Uh, sir, when we uh, apply this variable rate spring, is it require uh, the... <coughs> And the distance between the uh, plants should be constant, or uh, it should be different. Like uh, the picture uh, is showing. We have a, yeah, we have a two kind, two types of uh, variable rate spring system. One is machine VN based, which is we use for the cropping pattern. Because in a cropping pattern, we cannot identify the object as a as this that object is a weed or that object is a crop. For that, we need uh, real time cameras. Uh, for that, uh, we we don't we we are we are not a consideration of the distance plant to plant distance because if if the machine we and camera see it uh, see that either is a detect either is a weed it spray other either is a crop it's not spray right but if we uh, talk about the sensor based object detection based orchard spring system yes uh, we we uh, we have uh, some uh, a range of the sensors for example if we if we are using the uh, Using the ultrasonic sensor that have a minimum and maximum rate. So uh, the minimum rate is about around uh, uh, seven centimeters, but the maximum rate is around uh, to uh, two meters. But we uh, we we usually uh, design that machines for approximately one and one one and one point two meters, so that the maximum and uh, maximum spring can be achieved by by using these. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's a, there is another question in the chat room. How long it can it take in implementing this technology? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sharir Khan. Uh, if we just talk about that, uh, if we are talking about uh, the orchard spring system, yeah, it's a very it's ready for uh, it's ready for implementing, and we are. Uh, we are we are using some trials at our our research farm, and uh, we we already filed the patent. After the after the patents, we will 
and disseminate and we will give this technology to the to our industry it's that that uh, technology is ready for for orchards just we are waiting for legal issues thank you dr sir for sparing your time uh, we will pray for your fast recovery thank you uh, sir uh, and uh, thank you the participants and uh, next we will meet on the 11th of november the talk will be about milk adulteration and impact on human health uh, thank right. you participants and thank you dr tahrik bal for sparing your time uh, for this seminar god bless you thank you very much